What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Dark Cappen, Telma, Joshua Gare, Canadian Caesar, Kenvara, Jean Luc Sheratat, Oek Sal, Colin Young, Ross Lingard, Joshua Lawrence, Kevin, by the way, I'm a girl, Yoda, and Munit D02. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link below to find out more, and we'll see you there. Brothers, we have returned to Hell's Reach, that is. I mean, we're we're back doing more Hell's Reach Warhammer 40k story. Uh, part 5, we're going to be doing in this episode. So, a lot has happened in the Warhammer 40k community, uh, especially in terms of, like the fan films and everything, because um, Astar the Astartes uh, account got hacked. <clears throat> and, uh... The person who hacked it fucked up the audio on the first episode, and thus the guy had to delete the original and re-release the first episode. Talk about some real assholes, huh? Yeah, that's shitty. I mean, look, look. That kind of behavior, to me, warrants not only a slap in the face, but a kick in the nuts. Yeah. Anyone that does that honestly is a pathetic worm that doesn't deserve the time of day to even like like they're not even worthy enough to be pissed on in my opinion if they were on fire I wouldn't piss on them to put them out what's the equivalent of like fucking like walking into like a local store and just like I don't know like setting something on fire it's like you're freaking walking into somebody's work and fucking up their shit. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, being a fucking cunt. Yes. That's what you're doing. You deserve to be arrested, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, it's literally, since it's the equivalent of walking into someone's store and, like, vandalizing their product, like, honestly, you deserve to be prosecuted for that. You deserve to go to jail. Like, in my opinion. If you hack someone's YouTube account and fuck up their shit. Yeah. Like, that's fucking with somebody's livelihood it's mm -hmm. vandalizing their products oh yeah I feel like that should be prosecutable by law yes that's bullshit yeah it is bullshit and honestly it's it's stupid it's stupid to think that that is where uh, where things are right now uh, and I'm glad the guy has his channel back and I'm glad that the uh, Astartes uh, the Astartes part one has been restored with its original audio and I'm hoping that this does not deter him from doing more Astartes because those are friggin' amazing. Yeah. Well, I want to know what's in the vault. Yeah. And uh, well, speaking on more uh, more Warhammer 40k stuff, uh, Hell's Reach Part 5, a Warhammer 40k story. We got it queued up here. Uh, let us see what the brothers are getting into uh, as uh, the orcs are approaching the planet. Let's get into it. Here we go. There is only war. Only war. War. Murray. Ka! Ka! Three days. In three days, they will decide if they are to come to our aid or deploy along the Hemlock River with the rest of their legion. There is a chance they will not even walk in our defense. So it seems. I am going to the view tower. Is the Moderati Primus still within the hive? Uh, yes, Reclusiak. Tell him to meet me there. Uh, be polite. But do not ask. Tell him. Hmm. Shit. 
Shoe Crow, you bother me. Baka! Baka! <laughs> Baka Yaro! <laughs> This is the greatest of Arbogel's port cities. We are about to be assaulted by the largest green-skinned breed Xenos invasion ever endured by the Imperium of Man. We must have Titans, Carsonia. I am aware of your need. My need? It is the Hive's need. Arbogel's need. As you say, the Hive's need, but I am not the Princeps Majoris. I report on the Hive's defenses to her, and the decision is hers to make. The Invigilata has received strong petitions from other cities and other forces. I must speak with her. If you wish, I could perhaps arrange a conversation over the box. But I am here, a man of not inconsiderable station myself, to show that Invigilata is earnest in its dealings with you. I appreciate that. I am not blind to your rank. Tell me... Moderati, is it permissible to speak with your Princeps Majoris in person? Oh, no, Reclusia. That would be a violation of invigilata tradition. Your objection is noted and duly ignored. What? Artarium, ready the land raider. We're going out into the wastelands. <laughs> That your objection is noted and duly ignored. <laughs> what? <laughs> objection noted and ignored. Eh? Well, that's not right. Oh, look at that mother. Hey! That's a big boy. That is ridiculous and I love it. I want one. Where the hell would you put it? In the middle of the mountains. In the middle of the unoccupied mountains. And I would just stand atop of it and just be like, Hey government, try and take me now. They probably nuke me, to be honest, but honestly... Very likely. I wouldn't care. At least I'd die an epic death atop of a walking city. What I want to know is how the hell you drive something like that around without accidentally crushing shit you don't mean to. I am Grimaldus. Reclusiarch of the Black Temple. Your identity is known to us. The next time I am interrupted, I will kill one of you. <laughs> we are not to be threatened. Neither are you to be addressed. You are nothing. Slaves, all of you. Barely above servitors. Now move aside. I have business with your mistress. Oh, we are not to be ordered into submission. We are to obey as duty commands. I will speak. They are real fucking hard to understand. Invigilata, even if I have to shout up to the cathedral itself. Reclusiarch, must we bear this foolish indignity? No. Kill them. Oh yeah, Calbunga it is. <laughs> that is what I thought you would say. <laughs> Make this count, brother. Trust me. Brother. I swear to God, every, like, every uh, soldier in the Imperium of Man is obviously, like, Hulk Hogan in armor. Because they always are like, Brother, 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 brother. Imagine if Hulk Hogan portrayed one, he'd be like, Brother! 
We need to... Greetings, Astartes. Princess Majoris. An honor to stand in your presence. Waste no time on pleasantries. Storm Herald waits, and soon I must walk. Speak. I am told by one of this Titan's pilots, as an ambassador to Hell's Reach, that Invigilata may not walk in our defense. This is so. I command one third of this legion. The rest already walks in defense of the Hemlock Legion. Many with your brothers, the Salamanders. Do you come to petition me for my portion of mighty Invigilata? I do not beg, Princess. I came to see you with my own. He makes it real hard to understand multi layered voices like that. Yeah. But you have not yet completed your intended duty, Astartes. Is that so? We are not face to face. I have to pick one and try to zone in directly on the one. You have very kind eyes. What is your name? Grimaldus of the Black Templars. Now we are face to face, Grimaldus of the Black Templars. You have been bold enough to come here and honor me with your face. I am no fool. I know how rare it is for a chaplain to reveal his human features to one not of his brotherhood. Ask what you came to ask and I will answer. Princeps Zaha, Hell's Reach calls for you. Will you walk? Okay, so they have a Titan now. Damn. Imagine just standing there and just seeing that coming. And just being like, whoa. Welcome to Hell's Reach. Hey, old chaplain. I was born in a hive like this, you know. It is fitting then that you'll be dying here, sir. Do you say so, Sir Knight? Have you seen me today? It is impossible not to see you, Princeps. It's impossible to kill me as well. Remember that, Grimaldus. Hell's Reach was ready. And, as night fell, the sky caught fire. Oh shit. Ooh. Damn! Well, that's a way to make an entrance. I feel like if that thing had to just hit Hell's Reach directly on, that would have been the end of that. <laughs> yeah, like all of a sudden, our defenses are red. Wait, what's that? It's like, oh, this is shit. a very, very, very fuck-off large city, but if you crash a very, 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 very large fuck-off ship into it, yeah. it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. <laughs> like all of a sudden, he'll just be, he'll just be saying there, he's like, we are defend. Where our defenses are at a hundred percent. We cannot be any more prepared. Oh, is that oh, shit? Oh shit! Bro. Oh no! Boom! Yeah. And then as the as the fires begin to rise from the rubble, uh, so as do the uh, space marines, and then all of a sudden you hear one of those uh, big death machines just go, "I will die a thousand deaths before I yield." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, well, our maybe, shelter uh, has become our tomb. Only thing about this episode is like I will probably have to rewatch this episode to see all the dialogue from it because of the way that was done. It sounded yeah. really cool, but 
I mean, it, it makes it kind of hard for people with ADD to it's a lot follow like voices when you layer them that way and don't mix, like, at least two of them down a decent bit. Well, it's a lot like Bane from uh, from The Dark Knight uh, Rises. Or at least I think I heard three voices whenever yeah. talking was going on. It was like, if, if, like, the robot, like, the deep one or the girl one was, like, turned up a lot in the mix and the other two were turned down some more, I think you could still get that sound without it being as hard to follow and you could zone in on the one that's turned up higher in the mix but it was really hard to follow what she was saying because of that <laughs> and then the same fair. thing with the uh the dudes outside too like whatever fucking filter they had on their voices made them almost unintelligible so i might have to rewatch it again with subtitles or something if there are any <laughs> okay well but i don't know still pretty cool though oh yeah very cool i liked this so, uh, yeah, more Hell's Reach. I mean, y'all wanted it, so y'all got it. This was requested uh, by our fans and uh, on our Discord and in our YouTube chat. Uh, they just want more uh, They just want more Warhammer stuff, dude. More yeah. Warhammer. The more Warhammer, the better. Well, there's a lot of it. So. Oh, yeah. Well, well, yeah, there's no shortage of Warhammer stuff. So, again, everybody, I mean, this was uh, this was really well done. I mean, Jonathan Keeble, uh, as the voice, you know, as the, pro- as the, uh, ah, what's... As the lead in this, he's done really well, and also, uh, and also, uh, the animation style is still really stylized and really cool. I mean, I just can't wait to see what else this is going to bring, uh, especially with the next episode, because it seems like the next episode, the war is finally going, or the battle is finally going to start. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, for now, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. This was Hell's Reach Part Five, a Warhammer 40k story. Uh, if y'all want to see more from uh, this series, uh, there's a link to the original video down below. And also, if you want to see more from us, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay notified. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. It helps us out a whole lot. And until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.